Okay, guys, back for another one of these global and JP data download videos. Honestly, there's not really much to talk about. This whole celebration has just been very, very monotonous and very boring. I wonder if, like, everyone's outlook would have changed if Dragon Ball Super Superhero probably went ahead as scheduled as this year's Golden Week celebration. It would have been so much more hype, but again, I digress. So we'll get on to the stuff in a second, but very quickly... If you do enjoy the content, then please consider subbing. I made it a goal at this point to reach 2k by the time of the worldwide celebration. And better yet, um, you know, if you don't actually want to sub or if you don't like the content, then let me know in the comments below how I can improve either the content or to make the, the you know, or to make yeah, the content more enjoyable. So yeah, that being said, we got the data download with the physical LR cell information. Of course, the details were released yesterday, but the information that I'm talking about is pertaining to the easy a event so he's dropping tomorrow at 8 a.m utc that's 9 a.m for me essentially like 24 hours and then 15 minutes from this time uh right so the category weakness is entrusted will which is the agl trunks leader skill i feel like this could be somewhat difficult remember with these lr EZAs, legendary power activate i say activates but is the link which deals extra damage or more damage uh, and as you get on to like stage 8 9 and 10 you're definitely going to want to get that link activated. Otherwise, the no these normal TURs really don't do any damage. The problem, of course, is out of the nine LRs in this category, only one is STR, and it's a free-to-play unit as well. So these three are pretty much unrunnable. You don't really want to bring these into units at all. Uh, but the rest, I feel like you'd still get it done right, because Bardock is good. Goten and Trunks is good. Like, UI Goku is still very good. And these two are solid, right? And Trunks is solid as well. It's actually quite funny as well, because... We got this STR unit, we got this STR unit, this STR unit, and then where's the other one? Where 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 where's STR Ultimate Gohan? And then this one. These four. So one, uh, two, three, and four are four brand new STR units, and three of them receive their easy A's within this celebration. I'm I'm suspiciously thinking that the reason they easy A'd STR Ultimate Gohan and this Super Strike Trunks right now is number one, it of course it fits the theme thematically, right? Trunks sell, but Gohan, they probably easy aid him just because he belongs to the Entrusted World category. And he will be of great help, I think, in this particular stage. But I don't know, I feel like this could be somewhat easy, right? This Trunks is pretty good. Tech Ultimate Gohan is very good defensively. Um, maybe STR Nami Goku could put him work. STR Bardock, he's actually pretty good, but he requires a full Bardock team to operate at like max power in terms of his damage reduction. But for the most part, again, you just want to rely on your LRs for the main damage dealers. Moving on, Globe, sorry, not Global, yeah, but both Global and JP are receiving new Super Barrow stages. So for Global, they're getting stage 58, which is the terrifying Conqueror's stage. And that should be fairly easy. Have I? I didn't, okay, God damn it. I didn't pull up the category. Hold on, let's, let's pull up the category for a second. Again, this should be fairly easy. Where is terrifying Conquerors? I'm looking, I'm looking. I swear it's this one. No, that's Space Traveling Warriors. What am I doing? Uh, here we are. Terrifying Conquerors. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, no, what am I like? This should be fairly easy, right? Full Power Freezer. This Third Horn Freezer. Uh, this guy's still pretty good. The Coolers. Uh, where's AJ? Oh, no, I was gonna say AJL Turles is very good here for running this stage as well, but Global Players does not have his easy A yet. I mean, he'll be good once he gets his easy A, right, for Global. STR Bojack is on here as well. Let's see, anyone... You know what I'm missing? Transforming Freeze. I mean, again, this is another one, but if Captain Ginyu is the next Dokkan Fest, then that team, I feel like the Ginyu Force team could just solo that stage. Physical Final Form Cool is there as well. So yeah, there's a decent amount of options to choose from. There's also the Golden Freezes, right? These, these two are very good defensively still. And then for JP, what we're getting? Stage 60, Power Absorption. Okay, that could be an interesting one, just because for me, like, I don't... I don't do I even have the leader for that team? Where is power absorption? There it is. Okay, so yeah, I don't have you. I don't have you. And I have this AGL Boo Piccolo, but his leader skill isn't that great. Yeah, this could be interesting for me, right? I mean you could I could probably get away with using like exchange boo as the leader, but yeah, this will definitely be an interesting stage. I mean Cell will probably dominate this stage by himself. Again, this guy's so good, the first and second form. Uh, of this particular Dark is so good for Super Battle Road. Uh, we've got the Int Androids who are very good. You could be interesting if you get an easy A. And again, I'm seeing a lot of people speculating that Cell would be the, the villain or the final antagonist for Dragon Ball Super Super. What, what if it's like Android 13? Like every, I swear like every single month, Toyotaro or 
Shueisha, or whoever is like managing the Dragon Ball IP, they're always dropping some sort of like Android 13 hints. Even like the Super Dragon Ball Hero card game, I believe are just or card games. No, it's even the Super Dragon Ball Hero card game is dropping a lot of hints towards Android 13. Um, you could be pretty good here. De definitely Super Android 17 will be good. Ooh, Omega. Yeah, I don't... Omega... I don't think Omega fits under the Lisco, but he... he Nobody talks about him because he has got very limited categories and very niche linking partners, but he, his EZA is very good. He's like a, a souped-up or an amped-up physical point upon cooler. So again, this stage shouldn't present itself with too many difficulties. I'm close that up now. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There was also chain battle information. I don't really care about chain battle, right? It's, I don't care. Um, there is also this, though. I did want to bring this to everyone's attention. So thank you to this user, Masaka. I believe uh, Masaka usually, every single chain battle, does create these very informative graphics. So pretty much just tells you what you ideally want to be using. Again, I don't really care about chain battle, but... Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the Goku and Gohan, and then Androids, future Androids 18, 18? Yeah, 17 and 18. So that's pretty much the chain battle, chain battle information. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it was a very short day to download. There's not really much to talk about. Just very quickly with Cell, again, the showcases have not come out yet, but he seems very good. You know, ideally I would have liked him to be a slot one tank to help out the AGL Cell, because remember, they do share six out of seven links. But I, I think sitting at like 482k defense, which is what we calc in yesterday's video, post super attack is good. Uh, you know, I don't really think he'll struggle with key either because he gets what, like four key? Yeah, he gets four key when he's just facing one enemy. So assuming he's starting off at six key, he's next to AGL cell, adding it to 12 key. Another four key on top of that is 16. He only needs two key to get to his 18 key. So I don't really think he'll struggle with key issues. Although in super battle road, if you're facing like four plus enemies, five enemies you could be in trouble in terms of not being able to grab his 12 key and remember in super battle road you definitely want to be grabbing the 12 key i mean if this was like greatly raised attack and defense of one turn maybe you'd want to switch it up for the 18 key but the healing is just going to be way too valuable and again the attack goal is very good as well so thank you guys for watching that's pretty much it for the data download there's not really much to say for both global and jp i'll catch you guys in the next one peace